Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Power Rangers Beast Morphers review for you. This is the Beast X Electronic Saber. So, this was actually featured on my channel back at New York Toy Fair before any of the stuff released. Uh, I got a demo of this thing and it was actually really cool and it's finally out now. Uh, this was available on Target.com. It's probably going to be trickling in to your local retailers soon, so keep an eye out. Uh, but it's here. This is it. This is the Beast X Saber that the core Beast Morphers Rangers use in the series and it's got all sorts of cool lights and sound. So uh, big size packaging as you can see right here it's it's not quite fitting in the camera here but pretty long. Uh, looks like it does require three AAA batteries. There are some demo batteries included so keep that in mind. Uh, and it is open style packaging as well so if you're at your local retailer you might have to check for scratches and scuffs and that sort of thing because Again, open style packaging, you're gonna have kids messing around with it and all that jazz. So uh, yeah, there it is right here. And then if you flip it around, uh, it basically says, so you can activate blaster sounds uh, and battle action unleashes lights and sounds. So in the show, they have, um, the I think the saber or at least a similar weapon transforms, right? This does not. This is this stays as the sword. Um, in order to fit in all the electronics and what this thing does, uh, they weren't able to make it a transformable toy. But as is, it's actually still really cool from, from what I remember of the, the demo back at New York Toy Fair. So I'm excited to finally open this up for myself and, and really take a look. So uh, get ready. Here we go. Let's open this thing up and see what it's all about. All right, so here we have the Beast X Electronic Saber out of the packaging, um, and this thing is pretty neat. So I will show you um, a, a different view of me sort of holding this uh, next to my body so you can see the, the true size and scale of it. But for now, I just want to walk through the, the functionality, the features that this thing has. Um, and so, by the way, the demo batteries, I pushed a button and I heard a sound for like a split second, and then I think the batteries were dead. So I had to put in brand new batteries, so... Um, but yeah, basically, there it is. So it's one piece. There's no transforming or anything. Um, so very standard design. Okay. Um, this has kind of got like this hard rubbery material here. Uh, so of course, if you whack it against someone, it's probably still gonna hurt. Like it's pretty solid. Um, but there it is. There are some LEDs that are uh, found inside of the blade here, which you'll see shortly. Uh, the speaker uh, is here. And then essentially here, so you have these three buttons that don't uh, do anything. Um, these are just there for decoration. But the on-off switch is found right here. So uh, off is all the way down here. And the middle is like the demo try me mode. And then all the way is the full mode as well. And so the button here makes blaster sounds. But then there's also motion activated sounds too. So in, when it's in the middle mode, you get the blaster sounds. Um... Or at least you, you get a variety of different sounds that, that pop in. So not all the same, but you do get the blaster sounds too. Um, but there's no motion activated um, sounds from this. Unless you actually hit the blade with something. Um, which, sorry, now it's activating other stuff. Um, so that is, that's the, the middle mode. But really what we want is we want to go all the way to get the full um, stuff. So once it's on... Um, the button here sort of activates it. So if I just start swinging it, nothing's gonna happen until I turn it on. So if I push the button here, you're gonna get, and it turns on. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the bright studio lights I have so you can better see the LEDs as I do that. So let me turn this off and let's flip off these lights here. All right, so turn this back on, push the button. And there you can see, uh, this is just normal room lighting right now. It just probably looks a lot darker on the camera because you're used to the bright lights here. Um, but normally, this is what you have and the LEDs kind of move around a little bit. And so um, they're bright enough to pretty much illuminate this entire blade. There's some LEDs around the sides and at the tip too, which is actually really cool. Um, so if I push the button, you get blaster sounds and you see the lights kind of moving. So let me push the button again. So each time I push it, there's a couple variations on the blaster sound, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, you can hold down the button and nothing happens, so there's no extra features for that. Uh, but just pushing it does the blaster. Then you have the motion activated sounds. So if I kind of try and swing it a little bit, I'm, I'm trying to do this so I don't hit something. It's a little hard to, to do right now. Hold on. It's kind of, it's really hard to do on camera. Um, but if you hit something, it basically, I was trying to swing it without hitting something. Um, but my point being, if you hit something, you get the actual effects. Um, oops. Okay. We're jumping ahead because uh, I hit too many things, but let's turn it off, turn it back on. Um, but so when you hit something, you get like, you know, that, which is pretty cool. So you do get that. Now, once you hit something seven times, is what it says, you activate Beast X mode. So that's what kept happening and I was turning it off so I don't spoil that moment. But here we go. So let's hit it a couple more times. So this is actually the same sound that comes out when you do the Morpher, right? So um, if you've seen the Beast X Morpher, same sound. But what's cool is when it's in Beast X mode, it kind of hums like this, right? So now look what happens. Oops, hold on, sorry. I just pushed the blaster sound. You see, I'm not hitting anything. Um, hold on, I'm, it's really hard to demonstrate with this camera in front of my face like this. Um, but essentially, it's kind of like a lightsaber. What I was trying to show is you swing it around, you do have to do a bit of force. It's not like a light swing like I'm doing here. It's not super sensitive, which I kind of wish it was, because sometimes it is a little hard to get sounds, so that's a little disappointing. But the point that I was trying to demonstrate is more like a lightsaber when it's in beast x mode, where it makes those humming sounds and you can swing it around and then also hit it with stuff. So let's do that again. Let's activate beast x mode again. So after a little while, it turns off. We're going back to, back to beast, beast X mode. And so, here's what happens. You see, it kind of made a sound there, basically. I don't know if it's because I thought I hit something. Maybe that's what's happening. Um, but definitely when you hit something, you get those sounds. So I think it's really designed to be if you hit something, but you can technically get a couple sounds out of it when it's swinging. I do wish there were some swinging sounds too, and I also wish that that lasted longer. Um, so that is that is one thing to keep in mind. Uh, but then it goes back to normal mode. So let me actually bring it to the middle mode here, the, the try me mode, and see see what happens. So you see when you push the blaster sound, you're getting extra sounds to start off with. But then, it's kind of harder. I'm like hurting my hand. So it kind of does the same thing, but it seems to be a little bit harder. Now my hand hurts. Um, so really, the demo mode isn't that different. It's just when you first turn it on, you get a couple sword slash sounds before the blaster sounds kick in. So I assume going all the way is the full one, I guess. Maybe, it doesn't really label it try me, so maybe the middle mode is the real one. I don't know. I'm assuming all the way is the full one, whatever it is. Um, and that appears to be it, as far as I can tell. Um, that appears to be it. You know, like when you're in beast X mode, uh, let me push the blaster so you can hear what that sounds like. Alright. So we're in Beast X mode now, right? It's humming. Blaster sounds. Same sounds, basically. And so you're in Beast X mode right here. And yeah. So, I don't know. I kind of like the humming. I think it's really cool looking. Uh, and this glowing of the saber is really neat, too. Um, but that's that's really all there is to it. So there it is. All right, so with that being said, let me uh, jump to a different camera view and show you more of this thing. All right, here I am. I know the lighting's not the best, but that's because I wanna show you sort of this thing all lit up. So let me turn it on again. So this is the size of it as well. Activate some Beast X mode. And you see when I swing it, this is what I was trying to show earlier that I couldn't show on camera. I'm not hitting anything, but, right, versus 
So same thing, I'm not actually hitting anything. So you can swing it, but if I just swing it lightly like this. Okay, actually it's doing it more than it was before. So you sometimes get it, but if you put force into it, it definitely swings more. So uh, it was hard to show in front of the camera. So it does actually work a little bit better than what it may have seen, but it does still seem like you have to put a bit of force into it. So to activate Beast X mode though, you st I've been swinging it a lot. It's, I think you have to hit it a few times. And when you hit it, you see the difference, right? So I'm swinging and I'm getting sounds, but the lights aren't doing anything, right? Well, now I activated Beast X mode. But when you hit it, the lights flash. So that's also different. But now, here we have Beast X mode right here. So pretty cool. I, it does still feel a little hard that you have to swing it, but still pretty cool. Let me turn off all of the lights. So it is pretty sweet. Um, so there you go. All right. So that's a, a look at the, the size and everything of the, the Beast X Morpher, or not the Beast X Morpher, Beast X Saber. There's so many Beast X things. Uh, I have some size comparisons. I just have a bunch of legacy stuff near me. So I just grabbed that. So that's what I'm gonna compare it with. Um, Gold Ranger uh, Zeo Power Staff is longer um, than this, in case you were wondering. Uh, so then obviously something like the Power Sword is going to be much, much longer. Um, you know, uh, very, very obvious there. But what about something like Saba, right? So Saba is about the length of the Beast X Electronic Saber. You know, like it's not a super accurate measurement, but it's, it's about the length. And then taking the Dragon Dagger, it is certainly smaller, so I can dual wield here and I have my dagger and the saber. So there you go. Um, and of course, comparing more like the core weapon to the core weapon of Mighty Morphin, I have our uh, Blade Blaster. So this is, even in the, the blade mode, it is shorter. Um, and so that's the size there. Okay. So I just wanted to show those size comparisons. Um, but yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, guys, for the B6 Electronic Saber. I think it would have been cool if they were to add in a couple of extra things, like the, the well, there isn't much of a theme song, but just some extra, one or two extra little modes or ways of doing sounds, like maybe if I held down the blaster button. Um, but as is, it's not bad. Um, it is a little bit hard to, to um, you know, you get some sounds like this, right? Um, but I don't know, I just, I feel, maybe because it also feels a little heavier, uh, maybe that's why it feels like I'm swinging, like when I swing it's, it's a little bit much, because I, I think it, it does have a good amount of weight to it. Um, and the handle is small, versus the blade being big, so it feels very weighted then, like, um, so yeah, I mean that's actually uh, an interesting, you know, component of it. But overall, pretty nice, and if you like the lights and sounds, if you like the design of the saber, um, then there you go. I, I personally... I like the blue. I think it looks really cool, and especially when it's humming like that, like a lightsaber sort of. That's pretty sweet. And this music is always great. Like, get that, that hum right there and the lights flickering. That's really cool. So, anyways, that's that. I have lots more Beast Morphers reviews on the way, including, if I grab some stuff here, I have the Cheetah Claw right here, okay? I have the Striker Morpher, which is actually a Nerf gun, uh, which actually is, yeah, we'll see. And speaking of electronic stuff that I saw at New York Toy Fair, we have the electronic version of the Ultra Zord. So those are just a taste of some of the Beast Morphers reviews coming up on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed, stay tuned, can't wait to share more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.